Welcome to Maths Guru channel. Today we are going to discuss uh, one crucial topic in mathematics, uh, algebra. So we're going to do introduction to algebra. Each time we teach uh, algebra in the classroom, we give questions to students. We always have a funny response from students all the time, like the expression we have here on the the screen if 70 plus x is equal to 100 find x so we say we can already see x we don't need to find x again so we say sir x is on the board already so why should i find x oh very funny though now we need to understand the concept of um Algebra. Algebra is a mathematical term which deals with the use of letters or symbols to represent quantity or numbers of unknown items or things. So we make use of letters or symbols to represent unknown now we may use the letter a to represent apple apple or aeroplane we can use b to represent bag use b to represent blue we can use b to represent board so when we use b it may mean bag ball board and any of uh, these um, objects that begins with um, names that begins with b Sometimes we may even use it to represent uh, items that do not begin with a such letter. Like we can use X to represent uh, the number of aeroplane. It's possible. So this, um, for instance now, if we use B to represent bag, and others may use a B to represent ball. We call this um, unknown uh, letter or unknown items which are represented with their maybe a letter or symbol as variables. So A used in uh, algebraic expression is referred to as a variable. So this variable, it may mean um, apple, it may mean aeroplane, it may mean uh, any of these uh, names that begins with uh, that begins with A, and so B also, like X. Now we use X here. So this X is representing certain quantity or numbers of things of unknown items. We do not know what these unknown items may be, but in algebra. To avoid um, confusion, whenever we use X and X appears uh, in different um, uh, terms, in different terms, the X is always the same. If X is used to refer to a uh, number of aeroplane, for instance, if we have um, X plus 3xy the value of x here cannot be different from the value of x here if we use it this way so the value of s will be the same through but the value of y will be may be different it may be the same it may be different so take note of all these um expressions so, anytime we are given question 
and algebra, we should be mindful of um, how to interpret the question. We can just uh, use any item on our mind to like represent those um, variables that were given. Like if we have example one, if we have um, a plus 3a now, this is considered a term and this is also a term. All the number or letters that appear together in an expression is all are uh, considered as a single term. So we have A as a term, 3A is a single term. We may have a 3X square Y. This is also a term. Take note of all these. They are very important as we move on. Now, let's go back. A plus 3A. So we may interpret it as an apple plus three apples. How many will it give us? Definitely, it's going to give us um, four apples. Number two, if we have um, three balls plus two balls, we are going to have five balls. So, this is how we answer algebraic uh, question. So instead of saying uh, 3B and 2B to help us in this uh, preliminary level, all we need to say is interpret this um, letter given to us. We may use it to represent uh, identified items like balls. So three balls plus two balls will give us five balls. Or you may say three bags plus two bags will give us five bags. But now take a look at this. If we have 2A plus 3A, can it be 5A? Yes, of course, it will be 5A. But if we have... 2a plus 3b. What will the answer be then? 5ab? It's not going to be possible. So when you interpret it now, you will see that you will not uh, have the answer as 5ab. Okay, let's say it together. We have two apples plus three bags. We cannot say five apples back. So he, it, it is not uh, possible to use it that way. Or to say, let's say, 2B plus 3G. We cannot say 5BG. If, for instance, we use um, B for boys and G for girls, to say two boys plus three girls, five boys girl. It is not uh, possible to express it that way. You can see the uh, nature of the resultant um, uh, expression if we follow that uh, method. So, 2a plus 3b will still give us 2a plus 3b. And 2b plus 3g will still be what? 2b plus 3g and that leads us to the first rule or uh, law of algebra like terms can be added but unlike terms cannot be added like terms can be added but unlike terms cannot be added we have a and 3a here they are like terms so we add them together 3b and 2b here they are like terms because they are both expressed in b so we have 5b 2a plus 3a will give us 5a now 2a plus 3b we have a here apple and uh, bags they cannot be added together like that to give us uh, five so 
we express them differently the way it is given. And 2B plus 3G will be equal to 2B plus 3G because we cannot add them. Like terms can be added. Like terms can be added. But unlike terms, cannot be added. Take note of this. Anytime we have unlike terms, we cannot add them together. So we cannot, um, okay, let's give number four example. We cannot add um, three eggs to 70 because 70 is a known value. Three eggs is unknown value, unknown expression, because we do not know what eggs mean. So we cannot add it. They are simply unlike terms. All right. Having done that, just like um, addition we just treated, the subtraction is also like that. If we have um, 3A minus A, that is, three apples minus one apple will give us what? Two apples. Two, eight uh, apples minus six apples will give us two apples. Three, nine eggs minus three eggs we give us six eggs but if we have two egg minus three apple that is two e minus three e can we have minus e a or minus a e no we are simply going to have the same expression we written 2e minus 3a nothing we can do about this we simply represent it the way it is given and uh, number five if we have 90 minus 2a that is 90 minus two apples we don't know uh the value of this um, apple, we only know this one as a known, I mean, uh, a given value, 90, but we do not know. This may not even be apple, as I said. It may be uh, aeroplane. It may be antenna. It may be ants. So since we do not know the nature of the variable, we cannot subtract it. They are simply unlike terms they are simply unlike terms so we have 90 minus 2a given back so this is how we resolve algebraic uh, question now let's go back to the question given to us we have 70 plus unknown value unknown value to give us 100 what we are simply asking for is what can we add to 70 to give us 100 what can we add to 70 to give us 100 whatever we add to 70 to give us 100 if we subtract 70 from 100 we'll get that value or you can still think abstractly and see so we are going to have 100 minus 70 to give us 30 so check and see 70 plus 30 we give us 100 therefore x is equal to 30 thanks for watching maths guru please don't uh, stop following us follow us as we treat algebra to the end and we believe it will be simple by the end of the day. We are going to resolve other questions. So before we move on, we 
are required to solve the following question to see how you will do it. Number one, 2a minus a. Number two, 15b minus 12b. Number three, 18c minus 14d. Number four, 11a plus 5a. Number five, 11a plus 2b. So find the answer to this question and feed us back. Thank you for watching Mass Guru's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, share our video. Like as well.